Hello, everybody. Spider here, the Coming Soon Podcast, of course, being joined by Lisa Wilcox. Lisa, how are you? Great. How are you? And uh, I got to meet you yesterday. Um, you had a great personality. Uh, I enjoyed actually uh, talking to you for the few minutes that we, we, talk, we spoke yesterday. Um, having done yesterday, I mean, was it a long day? It's a long day. Yeah. I mean, it takes a lot of energy. Yeah, no, it does, but it's a blast. It's so much fun. No, no, for sure. And of course, I mean... And plus, my flight the day before, I was up at 4.15 in the morning because I had an early morning flight and a two-hour time change. Oh, man, okay. I have a great time. No, no, and of course, I mean, we are here in San Antonio, Texas for the Queens of Horror. And I mean, doing events like this, I mean, are, are you a fan of that? Obviously, you're here, but I mean, are you a fan of uh, doing uh, attending events? I, I'm a fan of events. I'm a fan of horror since I was little. And then, yeah, and of vampires and paranormal and ghost yeah. stories. But since I could read, I was checking books out of the library about ghosts and things like that. So. You see, and, and what was it that attracted you to, to horror back then? I have no idea. <laughs> I just, that's what, you know, you're just drawn to something, you know. It could be that uh, in the old days on Saturdays, that was cartoon day. Right. And then after the cartoons were done, then it was the monkeys. Right. Around noon. And then all afternoon, it would be black and white. Um, you know, Bella Lugosi, Frankenstein, those Dracula. kind of movies. So that's, okay. that's probably what, it, but I just loved it. No, no. And of course, uh, getting into film, was that something that you were like looking to do? I mean, when, when you were growing up? It was not something I was going to do. No. I, I wanted to be a doctor, actually. So, um, but what happened is, so I'm from Missouri. Right. My dad was offered a great job in Newport Beach, so he moved the whole family to Southern California. And I was in the middle of high school, had made some friends and whatnot, and, and, and one friend said, oh, I'm a brother of a friend. Well, he wasn't in the high school, whatever. He said, Lisa, I'm going down for an audition at Buddy Epson's uh, theater in Newport Beach. So. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember Barnaby Jones. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I do. So, well, Buddy had a theater there. Right. So, so my friend's going there for an audition, and I'm just sitting there in the audience seats watching, you know, whatever. Right. And this lady kept tapping my shoulders and saying, you're auditioning, right? And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. No. Anyway, she was very persistent. So I finally went up and I auditioned, and I got the lead role in Lanford Wilson's play, The Hot L, Baltimore. Wow. And I won awards and things like that for doing this, yeah. this play. So the, the, the bug was, has bit me, and I from then on did uh, outside of high school, doing high school, but outside of high school did play after play after play at Equity Waiver Theaters. Wow. And, then, and then went to UCLA. You see, and with something like that, were you involved in theater in high school? I did two, I did two plays. Okay, okay. Yeah, so so I you did, did have some experience being on stage and... Not at the point when I got that job at yeah. Huck Body Epson. No, that was my first time. In high school, I did do two plays, but most of the plays I did during high school were... Right. I, I don't even know how I did that. How did I maintain a 4.0 GPA and, and wow. now they know it's five. Four was the highest right, back then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then go to rehearsal every night and then do plays on the weekend anyway. I love it. Yeah, and of course, I mean, you're still doing this. I mean, as all these films that you've been in, I mean, has there been one that if they were to reboot, you would jump back into? Well, Nightmare 4 at 5. Oh, course, yeah. They need yeah. to finish the storyline. I mean, what's going on here, <laughs> right? No, you see, and that's what I was going to get to that because, of course, there's a few movies that end, end in the middle of nothing, and, and we're, as fans, we're kind of wondering what's going on, but I mean. I know, because Nightmare 6 was a completely different deal. Yeah. Um, so. I don't know, you know, that's, so that's one film for sure. No, definitely. Now, I mean, as an actor, I mean, of course, I know um, a lot of actors are coming back. Uh, the whole genre scene seems to be rebooted. Um, making movies is pretty much uh, a thing uh, for you guys on a monthly. I mean, are you being offered film? Because I know you say, uh, yesterday you said you guys were working on some films recently. So are those still coming in as, as we talk? Yeah, I mean, there's two movies uh, streaming right now that you can see. It's Amazon Prime. I think they're both on Amazon Prime and, and other platforms too. Uh, one is called Mystery Spot, and then the other one is called Murder Anyone. Nice. And Murder Anyone, I actually won a Best Supporting Actress at the Hollywood Film Festival. Nice. So uh, Murder Anyone is kind of a wacky black comedy, and Mystery Spot has kind of a sci-fi vibe. Yeah. It's a very slow-paced film, but it's been recognized, and I was nominated for Best Actress. At the Toronto Film Festival. So, anyway, uh, and then 
probably did about eight different films last year, but they're just not finished yet. Right, right. Um, so, you know, check my IMDb, and uh, most of them should be listed on there. No, no, I, I have, and I've seen them, and that's what I was asking, because a lot of them aren't, aren't out yet. So, I mean, how does that, I mean, because obviously it's up to the uh, the producers to finally get everything done, but I mean... It takes time to edit a film. I mean, it, it takes yeah. months, you know, so playing the music and all the editing, I mean, it, it takes a lot. So there's one called uh, Demon Hunter, uh, Time to Kill, and it was an Irish production company that we filmed in Kentucky, actually. Right. But that is going to premiere at the uh, the big film festival in Ireland, oh, wow. in Dublin. So I'm very excited about that. That'll be in uh, October. Are, are you going to be out there in attendance? Yes. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. okay. So I'm very excited about that. And then I had there's there's I, I mean there's one I can't talk about right right now, but it's going to be at the Cannes Film Festival. Oh, okay. Okay. And just there's all kinds of stuff coming out and more. Stuff filming I'm doing next month and the month after that. No, no, you see, that's great. And I mean, the fact that you get to travel, I mean, you guys are like rock stars. I mean, you guys go out there and of course <laughs> you got fan base, you got you get to travel and visit uh, other countries, obviously. Yeah. I mean, is there a country out there uh, that you would love to go visit back again? Well, I wish there was a convention in Italy. I want to oh. go back to Italy. I love Italy. I've been there since college. It's my favorite country. Nice. Um, yeah, so, and, and, me, and it would be too great if there were conventions in Asia, you know, like Japan or, you know. Um, That's actually, yeah. yeah. And that they would like be pretty horror cool. out yeah. there, oh, you yeah. know, so I'm surprised there's no conventions. So anyone out there... Yeah, get, get it going, get it going. And, <laughs> and you see, and earlier I was talking to Mark, and he was saying uh, he lived in Mexico, and I forgot to ask him if he was fluent in Spanish, I'm sure, he's been there for years, but um, uh, you see, I grew up here in San Antonio, and uh, growing up, we used to watch... Uh, uh, Lucha Libre wrestlers, uh, El Santo versus La Momia versus, you know, so of course all those black and white, oh, black and white films I grew up on. And I loved it because a, a lot of it was uh, the storyline, the acting, everything. Is that kind of what happens with you guys when you get a role? I mean, do you guys get together and see if you guys can uh, have some chemistry with, in, the, in the film? Well, usually you're cast separately, you know, and, and then, uh, you know, the director can just hope and pray that they yeah, yeah, make it work. get along, <laughs> make it work, you know. Um, but sometimes in auditions, like even thinking of Night Four, I read with uh, Tuesday Night, who reprised yeah. the role of Kristen. She was the first role that was uh, cast. Oh, wow, okay. I was the last role cast because they couldn't find their Alice. Oh. And I was in, here, I'll show you. It's got to be here, yes, okay. So, this is me in 1988, okay. Probably cast me as a cheerleader, right? Beauty right. queen or something right. like that, right? So I was I was looked over. They did not see Alice in this, <laughs> <laughs> but they couldn't find their Alice. So they went to the reject pile. They were and, like, uh, "What about this one?" And I auditioned. Of course, you know, I, I had I makeup, I had dirty hair, I wore pale yellow, yeah. the worst color, and and acted. And I got wow. You see, and, and it just makes me wonder how many roles out there, because of course, I mean, uh, for me, I love watching um, uh, backstories to where, like, they had a, a lead role, and then they they can't do it, they decide not to, so they got to look for somebody else, and they, they, they scramble, and it turns out that, that was the best pick, you know, than what they had in mind, so is, is that kind of what happened with you on uh, the Freddy, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movie? I mean, they I put you on there, and... Question. I'm oh, sorry. oh no! I'm sorry. Uh, as far as like, because obviously they didn't have their Alan, so when they put you on there, did it kind of just work out? When they cast me, right? Well, when they got you on the film. Oh yeah, I mean, and we had natural. We all we actually did have chemistry naturally. Yeah, and you already yeah. knew some of the people I, on the cast, right? No. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know anybody. I didn't know anyone. Um, but but and and to this day though, like. Yeah, particularly the cast the night before, it's like, we're like best friends. Oh, nice. We're really tight. And Amanda Wiss, I've gotten to learn, you know, she's one of my best friends. And Heather's one of my great friends. And, you know, we're, we're really like one big family. And Ooh, I think I like that's that. what's great about the conventions, too, is that usually when you do a project, you never see those people again. Right. You might see them again if you uh, work on another project together. Right, but right. you don't normally see anyone, at, once you're done filming, you never see don't make contact but, but with Nightmare on Elm Street 4 in particular we're, we, we're 
time. No, you see, especially, I mean, I would imagine they try to get all of y'all at one time for a convention too, so that kind of helps to be able to reunite you guys. You see, and that's kind of the same way. I mean, I cover a lot of uh, combat sports, you know, boxing, MMA, and I live here in San Antonio, and I have to go to Dallas. I have to go to, you know, uh, three, four hours drive, and I run into people from San Antonio, and I'm like, man, like the whole time I could go visit them, but it's just time-consuming and timing, and it's just, it's uh, it's weird the way that happens, but uh, I can only relate to what you're saying. You know, you get to meet these people that you've worked with, and uh, obviously you uh, bonded with, right? I mean, you guys oh, totally. developed a friendship. Totally, yes. Like Rick Lee's. You know, bug girl. We call yeah. she calls yeah. herself bug girl. Uh, she, uh, her son and my eldest son were like the same age, so we would go bowling together. Oh, wow. Both lived in LA, and uh, uh, Tuesday night we started a new business together that we had for almost ten years. Wow. Uh, uh, Toy Newkirk. Um, she lived after Nightmare Movies. She she really kind of stopped acting and became a producer. Yeah. And she was living in New York for ten years, and then she came back. She decided to come back to LA. She lived with me for a year. Look so, at that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, like, when I say we're tight, we're tight. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool, you know. And let me ask you, I mean, I was going to ask you about site businesses, so obviously you do have one. I mean, are there, are there other did. businesses? We cl- it closed a long time. Oh, okay. But are you involved in anything right now? As far as product or production or... Just, just acting. Just acting. You see, but that's, that's enough, though, right? I mean, are, are you looking yeah. at maybe getting into something later? As far as producing or writing or maybe getting a... No, I want to write a book. Okay. Um, my life story kind of thing, nice. but I'll wait till I slow down because right now life is. Oh yeah, it has to be popping. like two or three books, you know, out there. But I'm working on scripts, memorizing lines, and you know all that. Good that's stuff. what I tell people. I can tell you a story, but it happened between 2000 and 2008 because I don't remember the date, the time. It just it happened around that time. But right. but uh, right. uh, real quick, uh, music. What kind of music do you listen to when you're at home? Gosh, I I like. It's pretty varied. Yeah. Uh, I I love music from the sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties. Nice. Uh, I like country music too. Okay. Sweet. I like piano music, like George Winston. Yeah, I know, know? I know who that is. So um, yeah, it's all over the place. So it just depends what kind of mood you're in, huh? Exactly. You see, and yesterday I know they kept playing this music in the back, and uh, I saw you ladies dancing a little bit and moving. And I was joking with um with your neighbor over here, but I was telling her, I said, that's one of the reasons why I like grocery shopping, because they play all the good music now, you know? <laughs> that's they were they... playing fabulous music last week. No, yesterday. yeah, so I'm, oh I'm hoping they, they get it, it going today, because really obviously it's going to be a fun day, but uh, I do thank you, thank you for jumping on yeah. this, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope to see you again, I'm going to be uh, uh, traveling uh, to convention, so I hope to see you again one more time. All right, right Thank on. you. Thank you.